So this has been a little while coming. The AZ-204 exam has some updates coming on March 26, 2021. Now this exam has not actually had any major changes to it for at least a year. And so it's about time that we've had a few tweaks. The good news is that not much has changed. Some topics have been removed, some things have been clarified, and some percentages have been altered, but it's not major changes. So even though the exam has a year since it's been revised, uh, the changes are quite minor. So if we go into the skills measured PDF, I'm gonna scroll past this. Once again, Microsoft has changed the way that they do their PDFs. They used to do a markup format where you could see exactly what changed. And now you go down, 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 and there's this side-by-side -side comparison. And you have to read every word to try to figure out what's changed. So this is the current study guide. This is the new study guide from March 26th. The first section, Compute Solutions, not much has changed. We see a couple of new features down by Azure Functions. Create and deploy Azure Functions. Well, that's just basic. That's sort of, it wasn't mentioned, but uh, you would have had to know how to create Azure Functions for this exam anyway. So I don't consider this to be added. Implement custom handlers. And so that's a new feature for the Azure Functions topic on this exam. The second section is on storage. And you can see they bumped up the percentage from 10 to 15% to 15 to 20. This new topic is about change feed for Cosmos DB. And on the left side, the topics that have been quote unquote removed, it says create Cosmos DB containers. Well, again, that's part for the course. I don't really consider that to be, uh, a, you know, you still have to be able to create Cosmos DB even though they've removed it from the requirements. But they've removed scaling and they've removed server-side programming like stored procedures. So some of this stuff for Cosmos DB is no longer relevant. The other interesting thing is they've removed the entire blob storage section. So no blob storage is no longer on the AZ-204 exam. Even though the percentage has been bumped up, there's way less topics. Next section is on security. Again, the percentage has been bumped up. They removed talk about OAuth 2 and they've removed talk about RBAC. And they've switched that up to say the Microsoft Identity Platform. And they're talking about shared access signatures. So not a, not a huge change. We'll have to get into the Microsoft Identity Platform in more detail, but shared access signatures is a fairly basic part of Azure security. If we scroll down more, we'll see they've removed Manage Identities and they've added Microsoft Graph. The next topic is on the uh, monitoring of, of Azure solutions. Again, the percentage is bumped up. So we've got three sections in a row that went from 10, 15% to 15, 20% or more, 15, 20 to 20, 25. Now you can see they're kind of removed mention of front door. They've even removed mention of CDNs, but I think when they have this configure cache and expiration, I think this does refer to a CDN caching, but they also talk about Redis. The other thing they talk about is patterns. So understanding the standard application patterns for caching is going to be a part of this test. They've removed mention of transient faults. Now this is sort of the biggest change. They've actually really ratcheted down the quote unquote third party services from 20 to 25 to 30 down to 15 to 20. And then they removed mention of logic apps. So, so far, We've removed storage, we've removed logic apps, and we've removed uh, some part of the Cosmos DB there. Okay, so there's some big uh, things that have been removed. And really they talk about open API as a new, a new part of the event-based solutions, and that's it. So to me, they've just, it's just been a sort of a refinement. It's not a big change. They're not adding any new, uh, the Microsoft Identity stuff, I guess, is relatively new. So they're not adding a ton of new things to study. So if you're about to take this test, you should be fine. The exam does not go live until March 26th, so you do have plenty of time. But it's more about just changing some of the wording, removing some of those, those topics, and making this exam more focused. Pretty straightforward from my point of view. Let me know what you think. This has been Scott from Software Architect. Thanks a lot for watching this video and you always keep in mind, 
you're going to hear about the changes from the Microsoft exams from me first. And so hit the subscribe button on this YouTube channel and I would really appreciate it. Thanks.